welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I have a very special video for you guys. I have a collab video with Nitra or Nitra Q. You may be familiar with her content if you've looked up like a labor and delivery vlog or like a newborn hacks video or a newborn routine video. I'm trying to remember as I was watching them when I was pregnant. Um, she is a first time mom to a beautiful eight month old baby girl. And, you know, we just wanted to get together and come up with 10 mom hacks, things that we have found useful uh, throughout our journey with motherhood. I hope you enjoy this video. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions, please don't forget to comment below. Thanks. So my first hack is actually going to be a high chair, but it's not just any high chair. It's actually a high chair that you can either attach to your kitchen chair or take it with you whenever we leave Ava with Jared's mom or whoever uh, babysits her. We basically give them this chair so that she can eat and stuff. I honestly think that it's really like convenient. I guess I would say like it's size that you can put it inside of your car and not have to worry about size. Um, so this is what it looks like. I have shown you guys this plenty of times on my channel. Um, basically, it is a Graco swivel chair. I want to say that's what it's called. Um, and basically, the seat can recline and it can also sit up and then it even swivels side to side. So yeah, I really like this because I honestly put it in my kitchen chair. I usually feed her in different directions um, a lot because as you guys know, I use my kitchen to make my candles. So honestly, just have to fit in where I can. Um, but this is super duper convenient and I will honestly say it is a must, especially when you are feeding baby portable and not just always staying at home. Now, my next hack are baby teethers. So we literally carry this big Ziploc bag of baby carry, uh, baby teethers, excuse me, in our diaper bag. Um, Ava has been teething since she was maybe about five months and she's actually just now starting to cut teeth. So these have been super duper helpful, especially to keep her from being fussy, kind of scratch her gums a little bit, but they also go in the freezer. So honestly, all of the ones that we have, have like the water in them and you basically put them in the freezer and it helps them um, feel like, you know, that cooling sensation, which kind of soothes the itch a little bit. Now, the only thing that I would say is that these are obviously cold because they're frozen. I have seen a lot of seethers that have the, um, the handles that don't don't freeze but the top part will freeze I've seen a lot of those on Amazon um, so I would definitely check those out but honestly we don't freeze the majority of the time it just feels really good to kind of just for her to kind of just bite on them because they're like you know squishy um, but I would definitely say this is a must especially if your baby is teething and also is in that teeth cutting stage and super fussy because these help us out a lot <laughs> Okay, so my third baby hack is a playpen. So now that Ava is kind of moving around a little bit, flipping over, rolling over, that kind of thing, um, we definitely don't want to leave her on the couch and stuff like that anymore. So whenever we need to do things, get stuff done, we put her in the playpen and turn on her show. So obviously it is pretty big for me <laughs> to show you guys, but I will insert a picture right here. I also did put this in my um, baby needs what you actually need you guys can go ahead and check out that video as well um, so I would definitely recommend that especially if you're like cooking cleaning you know things like that you can put her in there and I have to worry about her falling on the floor or things of that nature um, so I would definitely suggest that especially you know she likes being in there she'll sit down she'll flip on her stomach then she'll play with her toys you know she's doing whatever she wants to do in there and then once she's tired of being in there I just get her out it's that simple <laughs> but I definitely think that is a huge mom hack especially for those busy moms that can't really hold the baby all day because I know I can't like I have stuff to do and I'd be like all right Ava I need you to I need you to chill I put her in there she's good so I definitely recommend that so my next mom hack is a swaddle so um in the beginning when Ava was smaller she was using the velcro swaddles that her arms were in you know like a normal swaddle but instead of you wrapping her it's a velcro um so she had a lot of those as a newborn I would definitely recommend those for smaller babies so Ava obviously did um grow out of those swaddles and then you know you can't really swaddle them with arms in once they start rolling over so I got her a love to dream swaddle and it was arms up like literally looks like this 
and um i took the arms off and now she still sleeps with it um i want to say the max weight is like 19 pounds and that's honestly what she is right now um but she really likes the thing you know likes to put her feet in there i feel like it helps her sleep a little bit better but i know you know it is kind of time for me to kind of stop swaddling her but we'll see you know how it goes but right now we don't break what doesn't need to be fixed okay so we're gonna leave it where it's at and then once i kind of feel like she doesn't need to be swaddled anymore then we'll fix it alrighty so my last mom hack is actually going to be a baby monitor so we have the LB tech brand as you guys can see Ava is sleeping and I really really love this baby monitor the volume is good we have really good range in the house um, and I haven't had any problems with it honestly um, but it's really good because Ava started sleeping in her own crib when she was about five months I guess I would say um, so I would just plug up the baby monitor on my nightstand and then I, I can sleep in here and, you know I hear her whenever she wakes up so it's a need honestly i really do feel like it is a need we also have a second camera that we kind of put in the living room or we kind of move it wherever we need to move it around the house and then we have the other one that's in her bedroom which is actually uh mounted on the wall so it's honestly a really dependable um baby monitor it has the little stand here and then whenever you're not getting good range or your camera kind of disconnects it has like a little antenna here and the antenna actually does work really well to connect it so my first hat is going to be the Frida Baby Wendy's. Um, and we bought this, excuse the box. It's, we buy the last of the Wendy's at every time at Walgreens. And it's always kind of, usually I guess just in shipping get smashed, but they're in high demand. So I advise you to go get some now. Anyway, starting over. Um, the first hack is going to be the Frida Baby Wendy's. And I found about these two weeks postpartum when Amar used to be very colicky and just have like gas pains. Um, so I was like researching how to, you know, relieve gas in a baby. And they were saying, oh, massage his tummy, do the bicycle kicks. None of those worked. This, this was the only solution. Um, and it's almost instantaneous. You insert this in into the baby's bottom. You'll hear a whistle come out. And that's usually like the gas. And then, you know, it may stimulate a bowel movement, it may not. Um, and then Amar was relieved. So definitely recommend this. This is a must have, a go to. It's gonna be a difference between sleep versus not having sleep. So I definitely recommend you guys purchasing the Free to Baby Wendy's. See, perfect. My second hack is going to be the Haka. So I also found out about this after being discharged from the hospital. When I came home, I thought I was gonna have to pump and I was kind of overwhelmed with the whole idea of pumping and feeding and building his stash and overwhelmed about if I was gonna be able to supply enough milk, you know, general mom things. So when I found out about this, it was a lifesaver because it eliminated having to pump, especially during those nighttime feedings when you have the most milk. Um, so what you do is you latch baby to one breast and the other side, you attach it to the one that he's not feeding on and it catches your letdown. So it's kind of like you simultaneously pumped without having all the parts and having to get out of your bed while feeding at the same time. And then once the feeding is over, you just put this into a breast milk bag, put it in the fridge and you've also, you know, kill, just kill two birds with one stone pretty much. It comes with a strap. I advise you guys to wear the strap because I've seen and heard so many stories of babies kicking it off and milk going, crying over spilled milk because you will. Um, so definitely make sure that you wear the strap. I use this so much that the strap is actually wet right now because I had to wash it before this, but I definitely recommend getting a Hakka, using it to build your milk stash. It's a lifesaver, it's a godsend, and I wish I'd known about this immediately after being discharged from the hospital because it would have alleviated some of my anxiety about pumping and growing a Mars stash. The third hack is going to be cornstarch. Now, now, um, Amar had a really bad diaper rash when he came from the hospital just because, you know, we were just trying to figure everything out. I didn't know about barriers and things like that. So we, um, sorry, I dropped it. We, um, he had a 
very bad diaper rash and I was trying to buy over-the-counter creams like Desitin and talcum powder and all these little different like his butt was caked with stuff because I was just trying any and everything I called my mom and I was crying because I was like you know Omari just he's you know when you see when you see a baby in pain it, it makes you pain <laughs> it pains you so she's like you know cook some cornstarch right up put it on his butt I was like I'm definitely not doing that I'll just try to figure something else out but then I ended up caving because nothing was working and I did a YouTube short, like a quick tutorial on how to, you know, make this and prep it and have it ready on the go. So check that out on my channel. Um, but this cleared that diaper rash up in a day to a day and a half. And I've not looked back since. I don't use any over-the-counter diaper rash creams, Desitin, nothing like that. I keep this on hand. We have this in our diaper bag all the time and we have excess in the house. So that we always have it it's also preventative so if you know you see oh well something could be forming or uh, there's a change in the consistency of your bowel movement i'll go ahead and put this on to clear it right on up i believe the actual how it works <laughs> is that it dries out the I guess fluid, I don't know how to explain it, but it dries out the diaper rash so that the baby is able to, you know, get some relief and also, you know, the diaper rash is able to heal. So that's just an educated guess, not a medical professional here, but definitely encourage you guys to whip some of this on up and have this and stop buying over the, over the counter diaper rash creams because they don't work as fast and as good as this. And it's a home remedy and every mom loves a home remedy. So make sure you go ahead and stock up on this. My fourth hack is going to be in conjunction with the uh, cornstarch. It's going to be baby aquaphor. So we use this to serve as a barrier against Mar Mars skin and a soil diaper. So like if for any reason at night, he uses the bathroom, the actual soil, you know, diaper is not just sitting directly on his skin. It's soil diaper, aquaphor skin so that it prevents a diaper rash. Um, Omar also is very chubby. So he has like, you know roll like a double chin and his neck is usually not exposed uh so he'll get like he'll start chafing like the seat belt will cause irritation the bibs will rub and cause irritation or sometimes like milk will drip down there and rubbing will leave his neck raw if you put some of this on your baby's neck it'll also prevent that as well um so definitely recommend this and it goes a long way amar is almost four months now and this is the we've had this ever since birth and we are not almost out so you know a little bit goes a long way and definitely recommend this and i mean it's good for hydrating chapped irritated skin all the things so definitely add this uh to your diaper bag and pick up one of these and my last hack is going to be a co-sleeper it's going to be the baby delight co-sleeper and we actually got this from walmart so you're going to see different variations of this like at target for 200 dollars, amazon for 60 dollars. just go ahead go to walmart get you one of these for 39 um it's travel friendly you can collapse it like this it's got some velcro here attach it and then it's also got a handle so you can it's good for on the go and travel um, it has the mesh breathable sides, you know, for your peace of mind as a mom. Um, and then it comes with the mattress also. Um, Amar slept in this for about two weeks and it was the compromise for co-sleeping for me and my husband because he didn't want Amar in the bed and I didn't want Amar in the crib. So this is kind of our meat in the middle. And then once Amar finally stopped sleeping in this, but he had a case of GERD, and I mean, I definitely recommend this also because it kind of does a makeshift little recliner slash sitter thing. So I'll put this, put the head up on the headboard and let him just chill in it while his food is, you know, getting settled and prevents spit up and gives me free arms from having to hold him all the time. So I definitely recommend purchasing that also. And those are going to be my five hats. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it was both informative and entertaining for you. Uh, we will be back. Well, I will be back next week with more content. Again, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe or comment down below. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon.